when you think of console gaming in general, Halo is literally one of the first games that most people are going to come up with. It's one of the founding fathers for first person shooters. Like it kind of set the bar constantly with the first few releases. Hi, I'm Ethan from Taglines. I've always been a maker. It all kind of started as a, as a little tacker in my dad's shed. He would be working and I'd just fetch things and bring it to him. But it very much taught me the fundamentals. The computer side of things really didn't start until university. I modded my first PC because I had to look at it every day. So I did that and put it online and then a mate asked one and then another mate asked one and it just kind of snowballed and now I've got to do it full time and build cool and crazy stuff every day. So my initial introduction to the Halo franchise was going to my mate's place after school and most of the time we were just running around trying to do all the skull challenges for legendary levels and we were zooming around in the warthogs and the banshees and mowing down grunts and brutes. The thing I love the most about the Halo franchise is the campaign. It's been a pretty in-depth 20-year story. Been able to watch Master Chief kind of grow, especially in the later installments. There's a lot more in-depth information about him and his relationship with Cortana, and I'm very interested to see kind of how that progresses in Halo Infinite. So the entire project is based on the concept of a command center. So the desk had to be big, had to be grand. So I think it ended up being like 2.3 meters wide. Like when you're sitting at it, you, you can swivel, you hold like 270 degrees and you still have benches in front of you. It's quite luxurious, I guess, in that respect. We tried to take as much aesthetic as we could from Halo itself. The U-shape is used all throughout Halo. Um, it's part of the Halo. Everything has the steel aesthetic. It's got your panel lines and all that kind of stuff all through the top. It looks quite detailed and like, there's a lot of depth to the surface. Being a command centre, we wanted to make sure weapons were at the ready. So we've built in the MA-40 assault rifle that sits on the front with the Halo Infinite logo. And then we have the Bulldog shotgun just to the right of the central column. And then the Mangler pistol, which is actually the enemy's pistol, so it's a brute pistol, is underneath on the left in kind of like the old Western kind of duct tape style is what I wanted to go for there. It just simply wouldn't be a Halo command centre without Cortana. Obviously we don't have holograms at the moment, so I had to come up with a bit of creative way to get her incorporated. So we laser cut and etched a piece of acrylic that sits in its own little light tube. It is all individually smart controllable, so she can be any colour you need her to be. For our Epic Command Centre, we needed some Epic tech. So we teamed up with the Zeus, who sent across their ROG Strix G15 gaming laptop. Given the scale and grandeur of the Command Center and Halo Infinite, we really wanted to screen the kind of title of that together. So Azus sent across their XG43UQ Xbox Edition monitor. So my favorite part about this whole project is just the tech integration. So it's a super industrial looking desk, so being able to put in a whole bunch of modern tech and smart tech just kind of merges those two worlds. So we've got the Halo lighting around the edge, which is all smart controlled, so you can control it from your phone with a voice assistant which of course ties perfectly in with Cortana, who is the voice assistant. And then we've got the wireless charger underneath the UNSC logo. The first thing I always do when I sit at my desk is put my phone on it, because that way I don't need to take it out of my pocket when I'm gaming and I get a message or whatever. And just being able to charge my phone while it's just sitting on my desk doing nothing, I reckon it's pretty cool. I reckon it's really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing Halo Infinite Day 1 with Game Pass for PC.